Hey guys, Mish here, and today I have a super cool study for you on fruit and vegetable intake. And the study actually just came out a couple days ago, and it's already making the rounds in news outlets and media and stuff because it's just really cool results, really cool paper. This study is looking at the optimal intake of fruit and vegetables to reduce your risk of dying from everything, and particularly things like stroke and heart disease and other types of cardiovascular disease and cancer. This type of study is called a meta-analysis, and what it does is combines the results from a bunch of studies on a topic and then runs another statistical analysis to see if these effects are real and if so, how strong they are. So this meta-analysis looked at a bunch of studies that were trying to see what the optimal fruit and vegetable intake was to prevent all these types of deaths and diseases. So those of you in the US, and possibly those of you elsewhere, have probably heard the whole you should eat five servings of fruit and vegetables every day, recommendation that our parents tell us or that the government tells us. While it's not necessarily wrong, it's not necessarily optimal either. And a serving of fruit and vegetables is about 80 grams. So that's something like an apple or a banana or a pear or three tablespoons of peas or three broccoli spears or two kiwis or half a grapefruit or an 8 ounce glass of fruit juice. So this study looks at the differences between risks of dying between this 5 servings of fruit and vegetables a day and 10 servings of fruit and vegetables a day, as well as none, or like very little. 5 servings a day of fruit and vegetables is about 400 grams, whereas 10 servings a day is about 800 grams. And so they use these really cool complicated models based on the studies to predict how many deaths could have been prevented by eating certain amounts of fruits and vegetables. And so when you compared 500 grams of fruits and vegetables a day to 0 to 40 grams of fruits and vegetables eaten per day, they found that you could, probably could have prevented 15 to 30 percent of those deaths if the people had just eaten 500 grams of fruits and vegetables a day instead of eating 0 to 40 grams. And they did the same thing for 800 grams and found that 25 to 30 percent of deaths from all these causes, or from any cause actually, could have been prevented just by eating more fruits and vegetables. Just 10 servings a day, that's not even that much. And while cancer didn't see much of a reduction between 500 grams and 800 grams. Things like stroke and coronary heart disease and cardiovascular disease all saw almost a doubling of deaths when you reduced from 800 to 500 grams of fruits and vegetables. So you could have prevented twice the deaths if you just eaten 300 more grams of vegetables is the idea from all these studies. That's a lot of deaths and that's from everything and most of these were due to things like coronary heart disease and stroke because those are very lifestyle related, but also things like cancer. And these specific food groups that were most strongly related to reducing your risk of dying from all these different causes were apples and pears, berries, citrus fruits, fruit juice, potatoes, cruciferous vegetables, leafy greens and salads, and yeah, I think those were the main ones. And actually they found that tin fruits, which are like the fruits that you'll see packed in sugar, like in cans, are actually inversely related. So those seem to increase your risk of dying slightly? My way of interpreting that is that the people who are most likely to eat tinned fruits are also more likely to eat a lot of other crap, and so you just probably have a lower fruit and vegetable intake overall if you're eating tinned fruits, and that's why you might see this association. And also it should be noted that most of these analyses are based on correlational studies, and so the researchers are assuming that the relationship is causal, which usually you don't want to do that, but in this case, based on the huge body of research looking at this, it's pretty safe to say that fruits and vegetables are having a big effect and are the reason you see the association between fruits and veggies and not dying. And so, there are a lot of numbers in that study, so that's why I'm only giving you the highlight reel here, but from all these numbers, the point is it looks like five servings of fruit and vegetables a day isn't necessarily optimal. So you're definitely going to be better off eating five servings than none, or less than that, but if you can get up to 10 servings, you'll be doing even better and might reduce your risk of dying by about 30%. And of course everyone's got to die someday, so you're not going to live forever, but you will probably get some extra years if you're able to increase your fruit and vegetable intake. And particularly for things like leafy green vegetables, cruciferous vegetables, potatoes. I'm so glad they mentioned potatoes. I was personally extremely happy to see that. <laughs> so I guess that is yet another reason why veganism is awesome because I'm pretty sure most of us are hitting 10 servings a day at least, but if you're not, then you should definitely try to aim for that because we all want to live longer, happier, healthier lives free from heart disease and strokes and cancer. And a lot of you have been asking me how you could help support me in making these videos because 
As a grad student, I'm on a student stipend and I'm also a photographer, so a lot of my free time goes towards doing photography in order to afford my dog and whatnot. <laughs> because a student stipend isn't exactly a lot of money. But if you'd like to support helping me make these videos, I have made a Patreon account. So how it works is you would pledge a certain amount of money for every time I make a video. So if you decided to pledge $5, for example, then it, you would end up giving me $5 every time I make a video for as long as you felt like. So I would really appreciate that if anyone is interested and that would really help me be able to make more because I love making these for you guys, but I also have to keep taking on photography clients with as much time as I possibly can. So I would really appreciate it if you feel like it. I'll put the link below. Thanks so much for watching and please share and subscribe to see more videos. I'd really appreciate it.